some time ago, I made a video regarding setting up sound on FreeBSD and, and getting that working. But it occurred to me that it wasn't very comprehensive and it, it didn't it didn't show you how to find out which driver to use. It just said, put this here, put that there, and that was it. So I wanted to have another look at it. So what I thought we'd do was just have a, a quick look and, and go through how to find out which sound driver you're using and what to do if you can't find out. So I'm on my FreeBSD desktop. It's, it's a minimal desktop. It's just pretty much for this. So I'm going to just become root. Sorry about the noisy keyboard. Okay, so I know what the hardware is on this. It's Intel. Uh, it's not Intel, it's Realtek. So let me just show you how you find that out. Now there are more than one way to skin a cab. I'm just going to show you the way that I know. And it's D message. Whoopsie. Let's clear that. And it is D message. Wait, more. It's using a weird keyboard by the seams of it. All right. So if we go down this list, you'll see it's a Pentium CPU. And we are looking for, when we get there, the PCM stuff or the HDA. Now I know that it's an ALC 294 audio built into this and there we go so the one that we're looking for is pcm zero that's the analog jack to set up sound on this particular hardware so that's how you find out which driver to use so now that i know that it's using the realtek alc 294 i can check that against the list interesting so let me have a quick check of something dev let's clear that i'm just finding out hard so what I might do is actually set the output to the PCM2 so that it plays through HDMI, which is how I'm capturing this. But you can change it to the, the analog, which is the default, or the front analog, or direct to HDMI DP. So, how uh, do I do that then? Let's have a quick nooksy. Yeah, so basically this is telling me that the, the correct device driver is already installed. I think. Yeah, so I'm going to change it to number two, PCM2. So that will be HW, SND, default, SysCTL of course, unit, and then equals the number, and I want it on number two. So let's clear that and check that that is now the default. Here it is. So let me just, yeah, that should be correct. So let's come out of that, come out of that. All right, let's see if we can uh, we can capture that. And the problem here is that I'm not actually going to know because I'm not going to hear it. I don't think. I wonder. Oh, I might know. You never know. We'll check it out. Okay, let's go, Gary H Tech. Hmm. I don't think any of that is working. Yeah. But that might just be. It might just be, hmm, uh, audio input capture. Yeah, that's slightly weird. Not really sure why it's not capturing, but it is playing. But I don't know if he's going to use that or not. Hopefully, wit. If not, obviously, year as So that's coming out of the PC speaker. It's just very strange that it should be this one. Yeah. Well, anyway, it is definitely working. So, and the, the, the real point here is how to get the audio working. So let's try that one more time. So this will come out of the front audio, uh, out of the front speaker, and I can hear it. It's just very odd, but, you know, it is working. So the, the real takeaway from this is that actually, for the most part, this, um, let's tell you what I'm talking about. So SU as root. <clears throat> Should we shut that up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you did. All right, so the the, <laughs> the real real point to this is that if we in fact let's open up what I'm reading from. Uh, wiki and you can see what I'm talking about. 
So there are the individual drivers. And actually, <laughs> my one is not listed there. Interesting stuff. All right, here we go. Bridge device drivers. Let's have a look. Uh, no, there's not really anything there. And what's interesting is I've, I've got a very similar one to this. And it's 294 instead of 257. So what it is that you can do is actually do... And I will we'll do this now, actually. Where's my terminal? So in the boot.loader, let's have a look at that. Here we go. So what you can actually do is if you know the driver, or you can put that in there, or you can do sound driver load equals, give me a break, yes. And that might be the best way to do it. So I'm going to reboot this quickly. Fine. The sound driver module is a meta driver that loads all of the common ones. Right. So let's log in as Gary. Let's start X. And just to double check that we haven't broken anything, still working. And we'll quickly have a look at that console. And we'll have a look at the mixer. So cat dev sound stat. And it's all still there. The default, interestingly, has gone back to PCM0 because I didn't put it in my sysctl.conf. I know this has been a bit of a convoluted one, but there is a point to it. And, and the point is that just by going through the D message, you can see what hardware is there. And that can really help. It can help uh, when trying to find out what hardware you've got for graphics, for sound, anything else, network adapters, and it will help you load the right kernel modules. EM0, loads and loads of information. Now, as we know, having too much information can be a problem at times, but there are ways around that as well. But in this case, we're using a Realtek ALC294 and it worked out of the box without anything else, which is good for me. It means I can play around with this a bit more. Just got to try and figure out how to get that captured by that. How to get HDMI output captured by OBS. I'm sure I'll figure it out. I'm going to leave it there. And um, yeah, don't forget to leave me any comments. If you think I've missed something out or done something really stupid, please do. <laughs> and I do a lot of things stupid. So please do leave a message down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like or dislike, share all of that stuff, Discord server link down there, and I'll see you in the next video.